What's going on guys? Today we are talking about getting more Google reviews for your business. Now, if you don't know already, getting reviews on Google is by far the fastest and most efficient and best way to get new customers for a local business. Now, if you're trying other marketing like running ads or SEO, these are all great options, but I guarantee that reviews will still be the best option for you because A, it's free, and B, once you generate new customers from reviews, and they contact you, they're already sold on your services. They already trust you and they are much easier to sell and turn into consistent customers. Now, if you don't have any reviews on your Google listing, or maybe you have a couple of reviews, but your reputation or overall rating is bad, this is hurting you a lot more than you might think. In fact, 90% of consumers are looking at these online reviews before they make a buying decision. And so what this means is if you have very few reviews or if you have a poor rating, 90% of your prospective customers are looking at that and probably getting scared away from choosing you and they're contacting your competitors. And so in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the exact process that I'm using with all of my clients to generate hundreds and even thousands of new reviews each and every month it's a super easy process that once you integrate it into your business, it's going to become habit and those reviews are going to roll in each and every day. Now, before I dive in and show you exactly what you need to do to get more reviews more consistently, I think it's important that you understand that while your reviews are essential for you driving new customers to your business, your reviews are not the biggest factor or not even one of the bigger factors that determine your ranking on Google Maps or on the organic search results. And so what I mean by that is I often have clients that reach out to me and they say, hey, I've got more reviews than all of my competitors, yet they're ranking higher than me in the maps. And so the short answer to this is Google reviews aren't the only factor. And in fact, location is one of the biggest factors that um, is going to determine where you rank on those maps. Now, the good news is you don't have to rank number one on the maps to generate business from reviews. And what I mean by that is even if you're ranked third on the Google Maps, if you've got way more reviews than the two businesses that are ranking above you, people are still going to click on your business, they're gonna to come to your website and they're going to call you instead of those other businesses. And so that is why I always tell my clients that reviews is the quickest and easiest way to generate new business because you don't have to wait for your ranking to bump up to start getting traffic. It's going to come immediately once you start getting reviews. Now, I've had clients that have thrown up an extra 50 reviews within the first week or two, and immediately their phone starts ringing and they start getting more website visitors just because of those extra couple of reviews. So with that being said, let's dive into the first part of this process, which is going to help you double the amount of reviews you're getting right now, and that is convenience. Now, what I mean by that is the number one reason that people don't leave a review is it's inconvenient for them. When I go to the dentist and I leave and I hop in my car to drive home, the last thing I'm thinking about is opening up my phone, getting on Google, typing in the dentist's name, looking for their listing, clicking on the review button, and then typing out a review. It's just inconvenient. And the sad truth is me and you and everybody else that is a consumer or a customer, we care more about our own time than we do about leaving a review for a business. And that is often why the only reviews that you might be getting are negative reviews because that's when it crosses over into my feelings and my emotions. And once I feel emotional about that, I'm gonna take the time to leave a negative review. And so what we need to do is we need to make the process more convenient, and then we need to help people understand how important it is to us as a business owner, and then they're going to feel emotional about it. And so what we're gonna to do to make this more convenient is rather than just asking someone to leave us a review, we're actually going to be sending them a text message request with a link to our Google My Business profile. Now what this link is going to do is it's going to cut out all of those steps and all that hassle of them having to search our business on their own, get on Google, find the right listing, and then click the review button. Instead, they're gonna get a text message that says, hey, leave us a review, here's a link. They click that one link and they're there where they need to be to leave a review. Now while this may not seem like much, cutting out these few steps in the process is instantly going to double, if not triple, the amount of people that are leaving reviews for your business. Now, if you wanna find out how to get the link to send to them in a text message, 
you're actually just going to sign into your Google My Business profile, scroll down, and there's going to be a spot for you to grab that link, copy and paste it, and then you can just keep it in the notes of your phone or if you have a text message software that your business uses, you can copy and paste it in there and send that out to your customers immediately once they leave your place of business. Now this first step is going to be super, super effective in getting more people to leave a review, but it's not the only thing that you're going to have to do to make sure that this process gets completed. One of the biggest mistakes that business owners are making is they're sending out a request to leave a review but they never did anything to prime their customer before they sent that review. And what I mean by prime is we need to prepare these people and let them know that we're going to be sending them a text message and that that text message is going to include a link to our Google My Business profile to leave us a review. Now, what I found is if the business owner can make this personal and let their customer or their patient or their client know that a review makes a really big difference for the business and that it would mean a lot to you if they would take just 30 seconds to leave you a review, that is going to give them that extra bit of motivation to leave a review. And so throughout the time that they're there in your office or in your place of business, make sure that you're mentioning this to them. Let them know that it is important to you, that it makes a difference and that you would really appreciate a review. And then what you're gonna do is say, Right when you leave, I'm actually going to be sending you a text message with a link and you can get on there, take 30 seconds, leave a review. That would be super, super awesome. Would you be able to do that? And by asking that question, you're going to be able to get a commitment from your customer and they're going to be much, much more likely to leave you a review. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, oh, that sounds kind of annoying. I don't want to bug my customers or clients. Don't worry about that because every time someone leaves a review for your business, that means that they are much, much more likely to be a repeat customer and they're even more likely to refer you because they feel some sort of connection once they leave that review that's going to make it difficult for them to not feel a special connection to your business. Now, the last thing that you're going to need to do, and this is another big mistake that business owners are making, is when you're using some sort of text message responder, you're sending out these links, but the message doesn't feel personal. And this is something that I found makes it really difficult because if somebody receives a text message from a short code number or for some random phone number that just has a link to leave a Google review, there's not any sort of personality behind that message. And so people don't feel bad if they just ignore it. And instead, what I would recommend that you do is send a text message that has more of a personal message. Even if that is set on an autoresponder, I always encourage my clients to include a message that says something to the effect of, hey, thanks so much for coming in. We really appreciate your business. Like I had mentioned, here's that link to leave us a review. If you could take just 30 seconds to do this, it would mean the world to us. Thanks in advance. We'll see you next time. And so this message is really going to help people feel that connection from you. They're going to remember that, hey, my dentist or my accountant or whoever you are, they're going to remember that you would ask them and mention how important that review is. And they're going to be much, much more likely to leave the review. Now, with these couple simple steps, I can promise you that you're going to see a huge increase in your reviews. And even more importantly, once you start increasing those reviews, your overall reputation and your presence and the amount of calls and website visits and form submissions are all going to go up. And this is a fantastic way to kick off your marketing efforts or it's a great place to start if maybe you don't have the budget for an SEO campaign or you don't have a budget to pay for ads. This is a great free way to advertise your business, build a strong reputation. And if you can make this a priority, it's gonna be no extra work to you, but I promise the results are going to be massive. Now, the last really important bit of information that I want to leave with you is if you get a negative review, don't panic. A lot of times we kind of feel this panic set in when somebody leaves us a one-star review. And more often than not, those negative reviews are kind of bogus anyways, because it's somebody that had some bad experience that you had nothing to do with. Maybe they got stung by a bee out in front of your office, or maybe their French fries were cold at your restaurant or something like that, that isn't a huge deal, but people will get really passionate and leave negative reviews. Now, instead of panicking or trying to figure out how to get that review removed from your profile, just hop in there and leave a response to that review. And what I found is a positive response to a negative review is even more powerful than just a five-star review because people see that your reputation is authentic. And even more importantly, they see you as the business owner taking the time 
to fix your mistakes and make things right. And they're gonna know that if they, for whatever reason, had a negative experience, you're gonna take the time to make it right. And that shows a really high quality business. That shows great customer service. And even if your reputation ends up being a 4.7 stars or a 4.8 stars, that's a really great way to show people that your reputation is authentic. No, you're not perfect, but you do a great job and you're gonna ensure that they have a great experience if they hire you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any more questions about reviews, make sure to drop those down below in the comments. The other thing that I would like to know is what issues you're having with getting more reviews and what is the hardest part of getting reviews from your customers. I'd be happy to help you in any way possible. So drop those in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you found any value in it. That really helps me out. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next video.